What's going on, family? It's Trinity Tribe here. All right, I'm lighting my incense here and my little candle. Of course, that I made myself. <laughs> little manifestation candle, you already know. I like my Archangel Michael candle. Get Archangel Michael in the building, get this energy flowing. All right. I'm praying for everybody tonight of peace, love, and light. Um, you know, just for divine guidance for us to find that um that inner peace that we're looking for and um you know just the clarity and the truth on situations that has stagnated us from healing, you know, to being our our um our highest selves, you know. Cause some of us, you know, we're still healing from certain situations. We're just in this, some of us are in this energy of, and of being untrusting of individuals at this time. And, it, you know, it's really tough and it's get off the table and it's hard for, you know, especially people like myself. I've become such an introvert uh, due to a lot. And um, I know that, that that this message resonates with somebody out there. So I'm praying for um, everybody's healing. Especially of those of peace, love, and light. Even for the karmic energies to, you know, just get with the program of 2022. Reciprocity, balance, justice, forgiveness, you know, just for us to release that evil from our heart. Our heart. But in order for that evil to be released from our heart, we must, you know, tell the truth about things, you know, that's transpired. We can't try to... Um, We can't try to make amends with people without, you know, clearing the air and apologizing for our wrongdoings. It's just like, that's the way to clear your karma in 2022, to apologize to those who've done wrong, especially those of peace, love, and light. All right. But yeah, I hope everybody had a blessed day. I don't know why I need to say that. Ask Chloe. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some... um some guardian cards to see what's going on like i said i hope everybody's doing well um even if you didn't get your manifestations and i'm pretty sure the divine beings of peace love and light prayed today you know just waking up is a blessing in itself all right let's just see all right what's going on holy spirit archangel michael i ask that you come down and help me channel these messages protect me and give me something for somebody out there something that somebody needs to hear this is going to be really short, guys, because I'm about to go lay my head down, go get me some sleep. All right. Are you ready for a new relationship? Wow. And that's that's beautiful for 222. Do you wish to improve a relationship you are in? Begin by romancing yourself. You are worthy of deep, fulfilling relationship. Love yourself as you wish to be loved. Cultivate your friendships and be open to romance. Follow me on Instagram, y'all, um, at uh, Aura Elevation. But I had posted something like this yesterday, and it's so funny that this came out because myself, I am looking for new love, and I just can't wait until it comes in. But um, basically, you know, spirit wants us to be, just like I just was speaking about before I even pulled this card, we need to be fulfilled within self before we go seeking a relationship because a lot of times... Um, we, we tend to look for validation in relationships. Um, and a lot of us have been in relationships our whole life. And in a matter of fact, some of us have lost ourselves in that relationship. Because, you know, when you come into a relationship, you guys normally become one. And sometimes somebody, one of the energies can dominate the other. Like I was explaining the other day, like dancing was one of my things that I've always loved to do. And I felt myself pushing my dream to the back end because of my partners they would tell me I was an attention seeker and this has actually been one of my dreams since I've been 13 years old so it's just like you know I kind of went with the program of somebody else's agenda and what they thought about me and you know now here I am in my 30s and you know I'm back at you know square number one again wanting to dance and enjoy, and enjoy myself and how i look at it these days is that a man who would be interested in me would 
be okay with me dancing. A, a man would be okay with his woman being confident. You know, it's, it's boundaries and whatnot that may need to be set and put up. But at the end of the day, nobody can't take away your gift. So, yes, are you ready for a new relationship? Do you, re do you wish to improve a relationship you are in? So if some of you guys are in relationships. It's always good to spice things up, you know, for your partner, make things exciting. A lot of us get comfortable in relationships and, you know, sometimes our partners may think we're too comfortable and then comes their wandering eye and, they, you know, they think that they're finding something better because something may look more appeasing. So, you know, spirit wants you to take care of yourself first before you try to nurture anything. All right. You are worthy of a deep, fulfilling relationship. Love yourself as you wish to be loved. Cultivate your friendships and be open to romance. And also, a lot of us have been beaten down and abused, you know, by our family members, friends and lovers. It made us think that we were worthless. So spirit wants us to, you know, regain our confidence, regain our sexiness. And, you know, just it's all about empowerment in 2022. And if individuals aren't empowering you, they're hindering you. If they aren't supporting you, they need to go. That's just what it is. But take care of yourself here. All right. I don't have my rose court bracelet on, but that's funny because I've been wearing it all week. Today was the first day I was rushing and I didn't have it on. But spirit wants somebody to get that rose quartz. All right. Are you having issues with loyalty? Are you building relationships with trustworthy and reliable people? Are you having issues with being faithful? All right. So like I said, another confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. Um, a lot of us have, like I said, had issues coming up. Family members and friends, people, you know, doing us dirty. And we've been nothing but loving and kind and caring people. But at the end of the day, we have to recognize that people don't love themselves. Once you become loyal to yourself, you won't have to worry about others, you know, being loyal because at the end of the day they just have to follow suit and when you don't love yourself if you don't exude confidence if you're a pushover and you let people walk over you 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 know it just shows the lack of love and self-respect that you have within yourself now if you're if somebody out there is dealing with somebody who's not loyal and trustworthy you shouldn't be dealing with that individual because at the end of the day in 2022 why would we want anybody around us with questionable character all right. When somebody shows you who you are, who they are in 2022, you must believe them. We're not talking about somebody who dances or like, you know, like to have fun. We're talking about somebody who runs their mouth a lot about different groups back and forth, back and forth. You know, those type of people, gossip kings and queens, they must go in 2022 because you must know that if these people are doing this to you in your face, they got to be doing it behind your back as well. And, you know. A lot of us don't don't know that um, these these energies, how they they're around for a certain amount of time and then they leave and they pop back up. These individuals are talking about you. They're jealous of you. They can't stand how bright your energy is, how pure you are. So they go down to lower level people to discuss you, but they always got to come back in your energy field because they're stealing your persona, y'all. All right. Now, if you're having issues with being faithful because of your past, that, that means that you, you know, you maybe should step aside and just focus on yourself. All right. Um, take a look at your take a look at your own level of fidelity and dependability. Make a pledge to be loyal to yourself and others. Yes. So, yeah. All right. Um, in order for you to be loyal to anybody else, you got to be loyal to yourself. And that's just one period. All right. So spirit wants somebody to take care of themselves. Yeah, somebody could be lacking a lacking confidence out there at this time here. All right, go ahead and go get yourself in a mirror meditation. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. You, you tell yourself who you are, and that's who you will become. That's why it's always best to speak life into yourself and not death. Don't beat yourself up about past mistakes and what you've done, especially if you know you apologize and you cleared the board, whatever the case may be. Once you do what you have to do, you apologize. You clear the air, you let it go, and you give it the spirit, all right? Are you holding back something you need to say? The truth about a certain matter needs to be spoken. Honesty is important at this time. Have the courage to speak up with grace. Loving words have the power to heal or improve a situation. I felt myself getting really upset today. 
So I know that this, this resonates with me. All right. Just, I had some things I had to say to family today. And, you know, I didn't say it in the most loving way, but when people tend to push you and push you and push your buttons, and these are feelings that you suppress since you were younger, sometimes it comes out in, in a not so loving way. But if you have something that you need to say to somebody, that's why I was just saying, clear your conscience, speak your truth and whatever you have to speak. And whoever doesn't like it, that's not your problem at the end of the day, because you get what you put out. All right. So listen, if somebody has a truth that needs to be spoken speak it up have the courage if it's something that, that you know if it's something that's that's weighing heavy on your heart and you want to speak it up speak it up and your truth is your truth no matter you know what anybody has to say about that all right because only you and the most high knows your truth all right so speak it up all right we have a uh, dalmatian jasper somebody may need to get that for, for the loyalty stone and we also have Amazonite, Amazonite, all right, mm. all right, yeah, are you experiencing physical inflammations, do you get headaches or sinus conditions, is the situation in your life inflamed or turbulent, use visual visualization, meditation, aromatherapy to calm yourself. All right, so, um, yeah, like, okay, so I just heard stress. So if somebody's holding on to something, it could possibly be causing you stress at this time, all right? And it could be hindering you from growing here, all right? So whatever you need to say here, go ahead and say it because spirit needs you of service and you can't be of service if you're holding back or whatever the case may be. All right, um, especially holding on to something that could be causing you health conditions because, you know, stress causes health conditions. So if it's something that's stressing you out and you know that you need to say something, go ahead and say what you need to say. That's too many. All right, spirit, can I have a card? All right, so we have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So this could be you or somebody else be feeling guilty about somebody possibly leaving somebody here maybe because you guys weren't in alignment or or some sort of challenge that went through here could have possibly been an argument i just heard confrontation somebody feels guilty for something that they spoke about um but at the end of the day here yeah somebody spoke their truth and they set themselves free we have purpose adversity surrender freedom and fear this could have been something that you was you was scared to do here all right i just heard i walk alone so some of you guys could be alone at this time here but yeah somebody could be feeling guilty of something that they spoke all right maybe somebody could have spoke up that they were looking for something else in a relationship here or somebody could have could be feeling guilty for cheating or something like that and maybe it's not having enough courage to speak about that but spirit wants you to speak your truth all right you got to speak your truth and then just leave it to the most high. Whatever whatever you think that you should be, whatever you need to get off your chest, get it off your chest here because this guilt, this worryation, whatever this is, this is definitely causing somebody stress at this time. This could be you or this could be somebody else, but spirit wants somebody to speak their truth, all right? Yeah, we have death. I'm learning that endings are nearly new beginnings. So yeah, somebody definitely could want to want to end something with somebody and start something new elsewhere maybe because when you met this person um you guys were clicking because you guys were on the same level at that time but you know as time went on somebody could have grown and you felt yourself on another path a different you know on your purpose on another path from that person whoever this person is that you were dealing with family friend lover job whatever it is and somebody's feeling guilty here for severing ties with somebody yeah we have success but this is your purpose here so at the end of the day if you're trying to reach a height and you have somebody that's you know trying to keep you on a certain level you know you must know that you've done the right thing especially if it came from a clear you know clear heart no no hidden agendas or motives or intentions here you, you solely did this for you and your soul's growth there's nothing to feel guilty about 
I know that there's no greater goal than to love. So, somebody also could want to speak up that they love somebody. All right. Somebody could, yeah, somebody could feel guilty. I don't know if, I don't even want to put that energy out, but. Yeah, we have loneliness. Somebody could have just wanted to break free and just be by themselves the hill. I know that I am never alone. All right, but if you were the person that got left or whatever the case may be, try to heal from the situation and just know like maybe you guys were set for different paths. You have purpose and freedom and trust. Trust trust the process because here, somebody could have been fearful around the energy here, couldn't even be themselves. I know I was in situations like that before. So at the end of the day, sometimes we have to be alone by ourselves to find out who we are. All right. I also get that there could be a masculine letting a, a, a feminine go at this time. Yeah, they know that a, a, a empress is waiting. All right. Somebody also could be wanting to apologize for, for, for theft. All right, but let's just see what we have here, Spirit. Can I get one on the guilt? Yeah, we have bad health. All right. Put that down right there. No, no, no. Just leave it. Yes, that's mine. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. All right, so we have bad health, number 31 here. All right, Um, somebody could feel guilty for getting somebody sick. Yeah, somebody could have cheated here and, and got somebody sick at this time. And somebody could definitely be going to court. This is just like a replay. This has been, this has come out a lot of times. And it's coming out because somebody has not cleared the air about this yet. Somebody has not cleared the air. Let me see something. Spirit, can I have, who is this person here that's feeling guilty about this, this uh, bad health situation here? We have Taurus. Somebody could be pregnant at this time. Or, or I just heard also somebody's parent or something like that could be on their deathbed. Or uncle, somebody's on their deathbed and they're feeling hella guilty about something at this time here. Something that they have not spoken up. We have Sagittarius. <clears throat> I just heard Cancer. Aquarius. Scorpio or Libra. They go Libra right there, but you know, they fell out with a bunch. Libra again. All right, but I just wanted to fall out there on the table. Yeah, we got Libra. So we have Taurus, Sagittarius, and Libra. Somebody here could be feeling guilty about something here that transpired. Um, if it's not somebody getting sick here, Somebody here wanted to wants to break free from a situation, or they did. Somebody's feeling guilty about something here. It's causing somebody if they're not physically sick, it's the it, it's the stress. It definitely could be somebody's father here. We have mature man, and that person looks old. All right, but um, let me see. What's this death energy here, spirit? Yeah, somebody may be wanting to speak some sort of truth before they transition. This could be resonating for one or two people out there. This isn't for a bunch of people, but yeah, somebody definitely could be. Yeah, we have poverty here. All right, yeah, somebody could have like went into poverty after they done something here. Um... This could be somebody's karma because they haven't spoken up about something and and their nervousness or sudden wealth. I told you somebody could 
somebody could have stolen something from somebody here and you know this person look like they're on drugs they could be impoverished right now um but it, the collective here somebody stepping into sudden wealth here i know that there's no greater goal to love are you holding back something that you need to say here somebody could be holding on to somebody's funds here um Either way here, though, collective, I see here with the number 11, somebody's manifesting here. Somebody learned the spiritual lesson as well. There's a lot of wealth coming in for you. All right, somebody here who you could have left. Somebody could have separated from you. Somebody could have left you. And, you know, now you're about to step into this energy here with the wedding and the courtship. You got somebody coming in. You're feeling lonely, but somebody's definitely coming in for you here. And as you're moving away, you're going to have either your father or this ex coming in and this person may try to guilt trip you or this person wants to apologize for something that they didn't speak about all right yeah message of concern and coughing i told you before somebody transition you're gonna get some sort of news here why because spirit knows that you deserve it and you're of high honor definitely could have been something that happened as a child here Let me get one more. <clears throat> yeah, collected. But, you know, for somebody out there, um, you you have manifested a successful marriage. This is coming in for you here. Somebody has been holding back what they want to say to you. I don't know if this person's lacking the confidence to come towards you or this person is trying to get their finances in, in, in order. But somebody's definitely coming in. And as somebody's coming in, this this past person is going to want to come in and speak their truth. But, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be too late here because you're already going to be courted. Yeah. Some of you guys are going to be leaving. I just heard moving out of state, out of town with this person here. Yeah, this official person is about to come in and sweep you up. All right. Expect a message from this person. You are the privileged lady. Also expect a message from your father here. Your father could know something here about some hidden uh some sudden wealth some money here that this person didn't speak about um one of your family members could be spending that hidden money right now this person could have went on a journey with this money or something like that i just heard all right but yeah something beautiful is coming in for you all right i just heard lucky number seven yeah look at that the star and then the four wands because you healed there's definitely stability coming in for you. All right. Let's just see what's going on with the collective here. All right. What's coming in for the collective? Just, oh, yeah. The high refined. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. This person in bad health has been, um, this person has been manifesting you. All right. They held back from this connection, but this person is getting all the signs that they need from the most high. Um, but also how I look at this is whoever this person is that's, that's sickly right now, this person has been praying to God because they're feeling really guilty about whatever has transpired. This person has had a long, tired life because of what they did. A lot of karma dished out to this individual. I keep hearing an uncle. But um, yes, this higher fine. This person is coming in. I don't know if this is a Taurus or for some of you guys here, you're going to be getting your own spiritual practice. Maybe you and this lover is going to have this spiritual business together or something like that here. But yeah, I see here somebody has reached their higher selves. Somebody has been speaking to God, manifesting here. Yeah, having a strength to ooh, reframe from certain things that no longer serve them. People, places, and things. And because of this here, your lifestyle is about to be upgraded. We have heavy earth energy. We have the Taurus. Then we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Again, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo or, you know, this could be you. But heavy earth energy here. This person's about to come in and make a stable offer to somebody out there. This person has been watching you and, you know, this person's, yeah, they're inspired by you. We have the Two of Cups. They look at you as harmony and peace here. We have the Four of Cups. It's definitely a gift from the universe here. Spirit is saying, take it when it come in. As I was saying at the beginning, some of us are untrusting of certain situations here. But, yeah, this is going to be a tower because you didn't see this coming. 
All right, this courtship here. Some of you guys have just been focused on yourself here. This is going to sneak right into your life and it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. So listen, 222, let's manifest that beautiful life that we want to see. Some of you guys need to write down exactly what you're looking for in the spouse because, you know, it's it's powerful to be able to, you know, to manifest like, to know exactly what you want here so spirit can send it to you so you know spirit wants you to get open um you know to re to receiving all right um yeah this could be a past or somebody here who came at you in the past i don't know if you turned this person down or this person could have overlooked you in the past or yeah now this person sees that you want your shit with the queen of pentacles this person is looking at you as a wife all right um they know that you make your own bread you're very fruitful here um you, you do this shit by yourself we have the um the temperance card balanced energy here some of you guys are able to balance between the masculine and the feminine energy this person thinks that you're very sexy they want to work with you here they think that they could build something stable right with the two of swords and the um eight of pentacles this person could have been confused about you maybe because of how you're able to switch on to that masculine and feminine this is for somebody here who's able to turn on that masculine and that feminine somebody's turned on by that all right right you are the star you're healed all right yeah some of you guys refrain from certain shit all right um definitely poured out things that no longer serve you here you got your angels and your ancestors guiding you all right yeah, we have the emperor. This is what you guys manifested. This is coming in very stable. Um, this man is not moved by the 3D bullshit. Um, superficial. Like, it, as you can see, look how this emperor is looking at this naked woman. Like, the fuck? All right. So, this, this person is not moved um, by sexual nature. This person is able to refrain themselves with the... Uh, the strength card there, all right? But yes, all right? This person has went through the same lessons and whatever that you went through here. So you guys are definitely on a journey here. And with the two of cups, somebody is definitely about to come in. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the two of cups, the hierophant. We have the emperor, the star. You know, this is going to be a beautiful um, connection, 2713 on the clock. All right. All right. So what's going on with this emperor? Yeah, they're in their head, too, about this connection. This is clarifying the two of cups here. This person is stressed out, worrying themselves. Um, I don't know if this is a past energy or is this something. Yeah, this person possibly could have ended something with you because of something that you spoke here. Maybe something about something that you spoke that they do for work. And they ended it for you. Yeah, ten of wands and a page of wands. All right. This has actually been a burden. I don't know if this person came at you before and you rejected them or you, or you came at them and they rejected you. This is a burden here that they didn't hop on whatever this is when you came through with this, with this offer or I don't know, some of you guys singers or, or something. Yeah, we had the queen of swords. This person wants to speak to you, but they're afraid of possibly what you're gonna say you're the queen of wands because you upgraded and you got sexier and you're using your intuition your intuition could have told you something about this emperor what's this uh high priestess yeah you definitely could have told this emperor that they had the quit something yeah we got the father pentacles possibly they had to leave something out i don't know if this person thought that you was like trying to take control of them or something like that here but this emperor here needs to use their intuition because with the knight of wands spirit's trying to get this person to to move here this this person is just sitting around thinking and you know it's causing them stress for some of you guys this emperor could have tried to compete with you here yeah we have the hangman this person is trying to improvise they're trying to think of how they could come in and take this action possibly after they rejected you or you could have found out something about them maybe something that they do for work or that where they're dealing with somebody at work here this person 
it's burdened that you know something. Yeah, we got the three of cups. All right, but yeah, this emperor sees some of you guys are celebrating here. And with the page of cups in reverse, this person is now lacking the confidence. You could have possibly, I just heard, I can upgrade you upgrade you could have met this emperor when when possibly when you were not stable or this emperor thought that you was not stable we got the five of cups and the lovers so they turned down this connection definitely could be a twin flame and you know now this emperor is feeling super passionate about you want to move forward with balance and stability but they're not lacking the confidence last few messages spirit yeah we had the ten of swords and the two of pentacles this person could have had you waiting or this person, you know, could have juggled you, possibly. And now that the situation is over, yeah, they walked away from something for you. But they still don't know, possibly, how they could come towards you. Because some of you guys are in this energy where you're very confident here. Yeah, we got the King of Swords. This is the energy they were in when you met them. Could definitely be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. And this person has been watching you with the Hermit here. A lot of self-reflection, or this could be you. And somebody has a lot of money coming in. And now this person could feel inferior to you. Yeah. Somebody has a new start here with the fool card. All right. Some of you guys could have switched your line of work. Walked away and quit your job here. And, you know, some. I just heard basking in your ambiance. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, we got the two of swords, the seven of cups, and the eight of swords. So, yeah, now this person's confused. They think you have options or whatever the case may be. Now they're, at, they're head about something that you spoke here. And, you know, they're wishing that they would have jumped on a situation when they had the chance. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Man, this person wants to come in. And they're imprisoned by their thoughts, possibly the options that they picked over you. And... Somebody wants to, you know, definitely come in. Somebody just text me. It's a confirmation. All right. Um, hey. Stop now. Yeah, come on. Stop, stop. That's too much noise. Shh. Shh. All right. Shh. I heard it. All right. Last few messages, Spirit. All right. Yeah. We had the uh, Nine of Wands and the Six of Cups. For some of you guys, this person could think that you went back to a past. Or this person now could be finding out that you were a soulmate of theirs. And, you know, they 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 were they were guarded when they met you. But now this person is looking at you as a gift. And they want to come through, right? The Empress, the King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. All right. For some of you guys, this person wants to make a child with you. But for some of you guys, this person could want to add you to a polygamous relationship. That's for somebody out there. We got the Queen of Cups and the Empress. This person could have already been committed to something here. But they're obsessed with bringing an opportunity to you. All right, last messages. Somebody's also obsessed with how you love and nurture yourself here. Yeah, King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This person definitely wants a family with you. Or they could already have a family. And this is what's causing the situation to come to a rest. Yeah, but they want to add you to it. Whatever this is here, they want to add you to it. Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the... Yeah. Something beautiful is coming in for you, though. Um, let's see here what this person would like to say to you. There's too many... What would this person like to say to the collective Holy Spirit? What would this person like to say? Empress, Emperor, Queen, King aligning with each other. Yeah. You guys are balanced, matching each other's energy. You guys have balanced out situations. You guys are matching energies right now. Will you marry me? Beautiful. Wow. Like I said here, somebody didn't know who they were dealing with. You, you must have came out. I just heard trapped in a closet. Some of you guys were hiding, running from yourselves. Last few messages, spirit. Secure the bag alert. Absence make the heart grow stronger, but mm -hmm. God damn it, baby. How long How long do I have to wait? I'm, I'm dying to see you. Teach me how to love. And we have influencer, social media, famous. All right, this is what some of you guys could be inspiring to be. Aspiring to be. Shh, or this could already be you. All right, but yeah, like I said here, somebody separated from a situation and this person is now wanting to come in. This person may not knew how to love, but they knew how to secure the bag. Somebody wants you to teach them how to love. All right, this could definitely be a rapper or a performer. 
this be my serious? We have looking into your eyes is like watching the sunset. Wow, that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. What's this about, spirit? This is such a long reading. I'm gonna say 35 minutes. Yeah, we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others here. This person could look at you as a flirt, or this person wants to come in. This person could be a little clingy when you meet them here, but you know, it's gonna be cute. You have finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Like I said, some of you guys could have met this person when somebody wasn't doing too good, could possibly be the feminine here. This person could have thought that you was gonna be codependent cool on their finances here. Like I said, they didn't know who they were dealing with. This person could have judged the book by their by its cover, so you guys separated. All right, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, but I sense like this is past energy here. This this separation, your angels are bringing you guys back together. As you can see, they're working, you know, hard in the background to bring you guys back together. Here, very beautiful energy. All right, for some of you guys, if you are separating, it's only to get your finances and, and career in um in, in a row. And, you know, somebody should understand that. Somebody probably is understanding of it. They're recognizing, um, you know, your independency and that you don't want to be codependent on them. Somebody needs to hear that, know that. We have let your friends help you ask for help and support from others. So for some of you guys, maybe guys may be getting your friends to dial you up at this time or something like that. Or you could be getting advice from your friends. But just make sure these friends are high vibrational. All right. Some of these friends may be trying to come back in your life, man, if they know things about to change around for you way too many. So just be careful who you let your energy feel because if your finances and career are being upgraded and you got friends that you haven't spoke to in years just coming through here, they're just passionate about you out of nowhere. All right. But we have allowed your heart and joy, your soul to sing with joy. So some of you guys could be singers, but yes, this is going to be a very passionate relationship here. You want to see who this could resonate for and we have it is safe for you to love. All right, but yeah, love yourself first. We talked about that at the beginning of the message, so it's just going right back to the beginning. Just make sure at the end of the day, you just choose yourself first here. That's what life is about. Who could this message be um, for, or um, who is this person coming towards the collective? Who is this message for, or who could this uh, this this reading be um, this person that's coming towards this person? Who is this here? Who could this message resonate for, Spirit? So we have Gemini. Yay! Aries, Pisces. So one of these signs um, could be coming towards you here, possibly to speak some truth. Or you could be one of these signs here. And one of these messages could resonate. And we have Cancer. All right. We have Capricorn at the back and Aquarius at the um, top. All right. Yes. Yeah, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, happy 222. Two, two. This is going to be a beautiful year for us guys. You know, just keep on vibrating on a higher frequency. And let's keep on cleansing. And, you know, especially severing ties with things that no longer serve us. So we could attract. Um, you know, what we truly desire and what we deserve. All right. So everybody um, stay blessed, stay peaceful. And, you know, guys, let's just keep on operating out of peace, love and light. Stay blessed, y'all.